Здравствуй. Ну что же. Я лучше поиграю в вампира, чем в киберпанк. Сраный, вонючий киберпанк. Конечно, когда это видео выйдет, может его починят. Но вот, что я сомневаюсь, что его починят вообще. Так, мне надо... Если честно, от переутомленности, да, там... Переутомление... Сколько я могу сделать? Давай. Что? Давай. Вот. Ладно, давай 10. Всё. Очень часто многие здесь были. Господи, так. Головная боль. Ладно. Сделаем. 3. 2. Так. Я уже забыл. Два дня не играл в нем. Так, теперь, ага. Нам надо вон туда обратно вернуться. Блин, вот это вообще жесть. Я не ожидал, что она там появится. Я думал, она где-нибудь здесь поближе появится. А она куда-то в ебеня полетела. Такая, эй, нахуй. Я не уйду с кладбища. Не, не, меня не выгонишь. Сильно разочарован. Очень сильно прям киберпанком. Прям вообще. Из-за из багов. Куча багов. Вся игра ломается. Абсолютно вся ломается. Так, что у вас тут? Черти. Так. О, ту -ту -ту -ту. Переутомление, переутомление. Мигрень, простуда, бронхит, стреску, нитеркот. А, я уже забыл, где кто. Кристина Попа. Так, ты кто? Льюис, так, подожди. А -а -а. Господи. Это неизвестно, я не знаю, как к нему добраться. Возможно, просто надо вот послать куда-то дальше. Господи, открой ты. Крыс пожрачка. Ну давай! Да, конечно. Так. А -а -а. Да, вот здесь торгаш. Палмер. Так, кто из них? А, господи. Так. Нитерку. А. Угу. Ага, блядь. А ч я зашел? А, вс, это поэт этот вонючий. Простуда у него. Вс. Вс, вс. Заткнись. Заткнись, пожалуйста, вс. Я понял. Вс, вспомнил, куда. Здрась, играйся. Так, крыс. Эй, бля. Стоп. Ч? Мышь. Despicable, disgusting. Или как там disgust? Не важно. Так где это? Здравствуйте. Я знаю, что это. Change your mind, Mr. Do you need any assistance? It depends on the price of your medicine. Ah, I'm sure that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Mist. Так, теперь нам все равно по пути. А, вот ты, ты. Good evening, doctor. Да, good Do you evening. Need assistance? That would be nice of you, doctor. Who... Да, на тебе If тоже you persist in investing... Thank you, sir. Да, все, все, понятно, все. Goodbye, Mr. Типа, Dalton. Да, да, да. Так, что там? Двое получили. 
А, сейчас поэт получит. А вот эти вот козлы пошли не в жопу вообще. Good evening. And good evening. Да, good evening, good evening. Ох ты, смотри, новый диалог. You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Так. When she was younger, my mother was a painter and a poet. She told me many times how poor her artist friends were and how she helped them. My parents pay for my rent, my food and my clothes. All I have to give them in return is lies they do not believe. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. Так. О, смотри, мы все разгадали. А Ричард называет Камилю своей музой и загадкой. Ричард чувствует вину из-за того, что финансово зависит от родителей. Ричард не может добиться признания как поэт. Ну, потому что ты не поэт. Ты... Do you need medical Quite attention, long. sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. Yeah, no. I understand your appetite for work. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical. I'll leave you alone. Так. Теперь я что хотел. Теперь же я хотел, угу. да, отправиться на выполнение за Дания. Вот его мне надо прям загипнотизировать, потому что он мне нахер посылает. Даже лекарства ему не могу дать. Палмер. Так, ну-ка, давай, прежде чем туда пойду. Еще раз построю, как я могу к пацану попасть наверх. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. No, я бы ворвался. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. Harry, by the way. добраться так конечно все интересно ты такой типа... да погоди постой дай мне обшарить дом твой ну крест смотри ко мне ничего да от креста даже с ним и полны мрака Uh, it's locked. Ты, ты не хочешь мне дать там ключик? Письмо. Мисс Питерса, мы долго Заработал доки, было ткавина и благо, что потратил время, бесстрашно, терперы, Харпер. Так. Не можете работать из-за того, что связался с бандой. 
Так, ну выяснили, жена ему изменяла. Какой-то там что вампир. Понимаете, смысленных попыток его убить у вас нет шансов. Вместо этого, вместо этого обратитесь ко мне или постарайтесь найти профессиональных убийц вампиров. Ух ты! Это опасно. Опасно семьи сейчас тусить. Так, молодой человек. So. May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Так, do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Doug. Do you know nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. А что ты не гуляешь то? У вас интернета нету. Компьютеров тоже. Не, не плоев. Не хуанов. Иди гуляй. Так, у Гарри слабое здоровье, и он часто болеет. What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot. He makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Mm. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Duck. Гарри с самого начала не хотел жить в отче. I'm sure your father did his best when he found this house. Times are tough for everyone, young man. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Look at you, Strelish. What Такой ноющий вообще весь. Уже здоровый такой. Так. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Ree. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. 
But yes. you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. Потому что он твой отец, ты дебил. Why are you sad then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. Вот эта игра мне нравится больше, чем киберпанки. Господи, тут даже диалоги интереснее. Такие прям ну жизненная тут хуйня вся происходит. Так, одну подсказку, да? Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Так, я сейчас это. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Да уеби уже ты от него, ты блядь, ты заебался. You again? What do you want this time? Так, тут нечего, значит, личное. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. And people won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd, I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Yeah, capiet. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. This district has always been wretched. Now let your guard down, sir. Yeah, capiet. Ну, с этим-то уже все понятно. А нет. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile, not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow up here. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Oh, oh, подожди, там цены же изменились. Заткнись. Right then. Давай ценники посмотрим. Нюх, ну типа ценники вы подняли ценники. Вы черти что вы творяете вообще? Ой, козлы. Куда этот уже 
au paysan. Good evening, Harry. Show. Блин, не было бы у него сына, я бы его сожрал. So, I'm not bot. Так уже и у это не хочется. Goodbye. Да, да, goodbye. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? А вон он. А блядь, иди сюда. Беседство, да. Снова я, снова ты. Сука. Goodbye. Ладно. Насрать я хотел на вас. Так, лекарства кому мог, тем я дал. Правильно, только вот эти два дурачка остались. Так, ладно. Пойдем азиатку спасем. Да вот это вот не твоя. Так, я правильно иду? Да, все, я правильно иду. Там опять до да, этих много жрущих. Ну, ублюдочных. Так. Где тут женщина? Ой, надо ее уговорить идти домой. Ух ты. Блин, не стыд же она здесь. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Zhao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Так, Xiao Shun. Не находит себе сил покинуть могилу мужа. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Sorry, I don't know her. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness.
Sadness can be a terrible trap. It can entangle you and weaken your heart if you let it control your thoughts. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Derek. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Xun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so... Так, муж Сяо Шунь скончался от болезни. So little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds. Так, Сяшун вин себя за то, что не заметила, как тяжело болен ее муж. We are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. You're right. I believe silence has a curative effect for the pain we feel. I suppose it provides space for reflection. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say, I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I wanted you to know that you have done nothing wrong. Unlike me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. How do you feel? Physically speaking, I mean. I'm as well as can be expected, Doctor. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiao Shun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. До свидания, до свидания. И прощайте. Так, а что еще у нее одна подсказка? Погоди, постой. Что за подсказка еще есть у тебя?
Так я тут ничего не вижу. Goodbye for now. Все. О, -о, -о. О, -о, -о. А чё он бежит у меня куда-то? То, что в диалогах камеру покрутил. Он свою головушку ебанулся и побежал, да? Так, ну вот смотри, тут есть у меня еще один квест. Ну это вообще вот это как? Если он вообще не хочет идти за мной. Так, что у нас там? А, два, два. У них шестьдесят, думаю, хватит. Нужно продавать. А, вот это, естественно, разобрать. Угу. Вот это разобрать. И это, естественно тоже разобрать а эти может продать на четвертый не канает тут же на третий тоже мы не насобираем и тут о две штуки может найду когда-нибудь когда-нибудь. Так. Теперь есть средство от мигрения. Давай захерачим. О, да. Кто у нас там с мигренью был? Вот этот. Бронхит вообще-то. А, вот этот. Ой-ой-ой, ой-ой-ой. Быстро идем. Помогаем ему. Друг это. Друг сейчас что чего-нибудь. Вот смотри, они есть вдвоем, да? Вот это тактическая хуйня, она даже ведь никак не, не помогает по-доброму. Да, да, да. А теперь смотри, как я быстро и ловко съебываю от них. Оба. Смотри, смотри. А, блядь, у меня крошки нету. А! Оба. Да, блядь, ну, кончать вот это вот. Прыгать. Так. Давай. Так. О, с двух сторон. Поглядеть. Нет, так нечестно. Так, ну где мне теперь а, взять? Здесь крысы не бегают. Блять, не дай крысятин, ты посмотри. Ой, какая-то фигня вечно выпадает. 
Так. Блин, вообще. Стрёмно как-то. А, такой. А, а, а. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. Так. Ну от мигрени, сука. У меня же есть от мигрени там. Ну, давай мне. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. силы гипноза а чем у меня уровень гипноза такой а чем мне его надо прокачивать Уж жесть ты пошел ты тогда И этот тоже, смотри, пизда молчит. Ни хера мне не говорит. Так. Что мы тогда делаем? А у священника мы все узнали? Нет, не еще что-то. Что-то не еще есть. Good evening, Mr. It's father. It's father. What do you mean? Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your... What do you mean? Так. I have... Good evening. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Mr. B. Evening. Так. Goodbye, Mr. B. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Не пожалеешь. Ну хату я твою обчищу, это точно. Я же вампир. Минси. 
хорошо что здесь нет, нет такого, что типа они заметят и пизды валят. А? It's locked, all right. Так, давай с тобой поговорим. If you want to talk to Dora there, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. Dorothea. And I also run this little prince. Dorothea, как карате, только Дорothea. Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, doctor. Mm. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor? <laughs> it must be my lucky day. Yeah, that was a lucky day, please. So Dorothy's real name is not Crane. Like myself and many people in this area. Dorothea is from occupied Romania. That's all you need to know. She seems important to the community. More than you can imagine. The West End does not want to hear of Whitechapel's misery. Dorothea is one of the few doing something about it. Did you refuse to publish Richard Nethercott's previous works, Darius? Yes. His manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. Now there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You no could doubt. have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. <laughs> Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Are you not worried for her safety? She is as brave as she is tough, and clever too. If only I had met her when I was younger. Are you in love with Camellia, Mr. Petrescu? Don't be stupid. If I had met her when I was younger, we could have won our revolution. Who is she, really? Do you know where she's from? She's not from around here, that's all we know. Camellia is not even her name. It's her favorite flower. You say she has no close family? Well, there's that awful poet who constantly follows her around like a lost puppy. A good man, for sure, but a very poor writer. Tell me everything you know about Camelli. I do not believe it. Uh. Так. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Don't be embarrassed, sir. If you must know, my own father disappeared many years ago, and I forgave him. It's quite awkward to talk about our families like this, but... Thank you, Dr. Reed. I appreciate your trust. This war won't last forever. Did you ever think of returning to your country now it's free? No. I have taught strength and determination to my sons and daughters. I'm an old dying man who only has memories of better times to cherish. Yeah. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. 
It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not appeased, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Dark. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I shared many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. Так, ну по ней все, я все, да, везде все. Камень чем-то. Goodbye, Mr. Bishop. Давай, Петреск. Так, всех бомжей впускаем сюда. Так, что там, что наверх? Наверх куда-нибудь можно? Запрыгивать или нет? Все открываем. Боже, рот-то прикрывайте, когда кашляете, что же не соблюдаете технику безопасности. Я уже иду, я лечу. А, потом прочту. Ставь Румыния. Вот уж поверь, помощь тебе не нужна. Ну, конвульсия. Не, его просто надо уже копнуть и все. What do we have here, nurse? Patient Razvan Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Так. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing. He's choking. He's not getting any air. Scalpel! Hand me that scalpel! What can I do, Doctor? Так. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy? Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Так, Что предлагаете? Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I have no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, doctor. Тогда не спрашивай, сука. У меня нихуя. Да боже. По, по мне же видно, что He's я вампир. bleeding, doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, doctor? 
I... I can't see. Я прям сдержался, я такой, а, ща выпью в кровячке-то. Так. A dose of epinephrine now. Yes, doctor. Я не знаю, как людей спасать. Я душа не его. Поэтому надо меня спрашивать. Че, помер? Я хуёвый врач. We've lost the pulse. He... he's gone, Doctor. Yes. We did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went? Piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions, something primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Ну, знаешь что? Я вообще не был уверен, что мы вообще спасем. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Так. I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Так. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Так. Doctor Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime and it will stop, Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Так. Да, пощадите, я закрою на это глаза, но вы... Пойдите в отставку. 
объятия немедленно положу этому к тому вы можете сразу сожрать и закипетизировать и забудьте обо всем что произошло типа а также дальше будет шантажировать ладно Пощадим ее. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So, here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Doctor Reed. That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. We have a deal. Че? Че, че сейчас было? Гипно... А, мне уровень гипноза дали, теперь у меня второй. То есть, а мне до третий. Черт. Хет. Блин, все равно там. Средства от мигрени. Мигрени не Ну этот он козел был. А тут, блин. Если бы честно, я вот этого бы я сожрал. Тобиаса. Я думаю, я туда еще вернусь. Да? Смотри, у них здесь еще не все раскрыто. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's not locked. Охуелина. Кого ты не застрелили? Они а этих двух, которые здесь лежали. Вот же шакалы. Ну, все, 
Так, я просто кровь пополняю, поэтому я так их иногда долго убиваю. Я думаю, это и так было понятно. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Так. Тут все окей, да? Yes. Tell me if I could. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Плохо, что я не могу... Телепортироваться быстро. Мне вот это вот бежать придется. Так, ну там мы сейчас вернемся сюда. Я надеюсь, я туда еще вернусь, потому что мне не нравится этот пастырь. Мне хочется его прикончить. Так. Мистер Бейт. Ну-ка, что он мне что-нибудь расскажет? Вчера мне ничего не расскажет. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Yeah, goodbye. Lee. Так, ладно, наверное, на этом а, все закругляемся. Так уже до хрена типа играем. Все, давай, счастливо.